Don't you just love it when you're at a family dinner and someone says, you won't believe what I read in an article today. So you quickly ask, what journal was that published in? And they respond, Facebook. <laughs> now, my family isn't the only one. Studies, yes, actual articles, suggest that adults gain most of their scientific and environmental information from news websites. Now, in a competitive, commercially driven media landscape, these issues are framed as newsworthy when framed as political, environmental, and novel ideas, as shown in my literature review. But what role does the media have in communicating complex environmental management issues? This is what my thesis is investigating. Looking at the case study of the oldest tree in the Southern Hemisphere, the iconic Cody, and the communication of closures to prevent the spread of the disease Cody dieback. Now, if your family member saw this article by The Guardian in 2019, they'll share with you that a man is facing thousands of dollars in fines for simply going for a hike. Now, that probably spikes some interest in how we manage our forests. You can see yourself the complexities in communicating this issue. Those who want access, those in research, and those trying to prevent the disease spreading. Now, since 2008, the media have reported that there is no known cure, yet it was detected in Waitakere Ranges. And in 2017, interest spiked when local mana whenua placed at Ahui, a cultural closure on the area. I'm asking over this time, how have the media played a Lorax-like role to speak for the trees? <laughs> Whose voice can we hear in the media? I have gathered over 200 print media articles and am using a text mining machine learning software to track concepts of closure over time, comparing between mainstream media and Maori media, and then taking it one step further to ask why. Interviewing journalists on the pressures that they face constructing environmental stories. Now, interesting in the findings so far, which challenges the idea that media take an objective, balanced role, is actually <laughs> how they are very positioned. And they're being environmental advocates supporting the management of closures. Now, as we all face an increase in complex environmental issues, it is critical that we understand media's pivotal role and management communication, given we know audiences are influenced by it. As with Cody Dieback, the media have exposed council inaction and how institutions to account, calling for greater research funding. So tomorrow at the dinner table, please remind your family, stay out of closed forests, always clean your footwear, and ask who is speaking for the trees. <laughs>